Hi there and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to see how you can, um, let's say, get a special report uh, within Mathomo Analytics, which is the search keywords with a no results report. And we are going to see different methods in order to get those data. So this is a very specific uh, tutorial. Um, it takes me a while uh, in order to understand how it works, about um, two hours, let's say. Uh, so probably what you already know is that when you have a given website, you can easily track um, what are the keywords which are typed within this given uh, search bar, okay? And most of analytic solutions such as Matomo are using, in fact, the parameter which is used over here in order to recognize it. So that's that's the thing. So we're going to say like plus, we're going to press enter. And uh, what we're going to talk about today is how can you get, in fact, the information that this given keyword did not end up in any results. And like this is going to give you uh, the information that you don't have any content for this or your internal search engine is not working fine. And as well, we are going to see how you can get the number of uh, results that, uh, for example, that you get out of a given search. So for example, for this given uh, search, as you can see, I got seven corresponding uh, results. So let's get started. When you start to dig within the documentation of Matomo Analytics, you will see up, uh, you will see that uh, how you can track no result search keywords. So just by activating your uh, search engine, it's not gonna um, add this given feature, okay? So it's an additional tracking code that you need to insert on uh, your page on which the search is happening. So you need to know within your website template where is this given page and you need to happen those given line of code. So in fact, you do not really happen uh, this one because this one is part of your um, legacy tracking code, but you add those uh, these parts out. So you need to get, in fact, the value of the given variable, which is after uh, taken back within the search count. So you need a way to understand how many results have been displayed on the page. So as you can see, it's uh, a bit technical because you need to know, in fact, uh, how many um, results have been displayed here and uh, as well when it's no result. So as you can see here within the page, I'm not getting this information, right? I don't have a seven uh, written here, I don't have a no results page. So I need to pray in order to see if within my CMS or within my website, I have a function in order to get it. So here yeah, I'm using a WordPress. I'm gonna go uh, within appearance, uh, term editor, and within the term editor, as you can see, you have a function which is called search results. And if you click on this one, so you'll have many information in, in PHP. And if you dig a little bit within this given uh, page or if you look through information on the internet you will see that with a WordPress you need to call uh, this given PHP function in order to create first uh, a variable and then you can call the following function in PHP in order to know how many posts correspond to the query of the search engine so uh, maybe I can just give you a tiny tiny example I can just do it like this yep so I'm just gonna take these parts out and just gonna uh, just put it uh, like like this and um, echo blah 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 okay so I'm just gonna do it like this if I do it like this and if I go back on my page I should see uh, seven somewhere okay seven yep okay you see this seven here correspond in fact to the line of code that I just uh, that I just added um, so of course there's no interest of making it visible. So that's why I'm gonna add it now. And what I'm doing in my case, I'm in fact injecting this given result within a data layer uh, value expected, which is over here. So here I copy out this script in order to make it available for Matomo Tag Manager and within my data layer. So I will have a value, um, I mean, um, an index, which is search results, which will be equal to the number of posts found on the page. So as a result, if I just refresh my page, if I look through the source code, if I look for a data layer, data layer, layer, data, so let's say just layer. Okay, can't find it, but I know that it's at the bottom of the page. Uh, you see, I'm getting these parts. 
Okay, so here I get a data layer which equals seven. So now what I need to do is I need to create a data layer variable within Matmo Tag Manager in order to say that uh, this variable exists. So, and I'm gonna go within the Tag Manager and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a variable. So as you see, I created one which is uh, data layer type and which equal to the same value as the one that I'm defining over here, okay, so nothing special. So now I have the value. So what I need to do is that I need to have the same tracker as the request. So this one that's on my page. So uh, this given tracker does not exist yet as a variable uh, configuration in the Matomo template, okay? So to say, I cannot really just create a tag with the Matomo template. So what I did is I, of course, have the uh, legacy tracking code of Matomo, which is here, but I'm adding a trigger in order to say, okay, please do not consider uh, the page when it's uh, the page result, okay? So that's why I say, okay, please do not fire the legacy Matomo tracking code when I'm on the search result page. And on the other part, what I did is I added another tag, which is the search result page on which I have uh, the tracking code that I just copy and paste on which I added the two features that I just show you, which is uh, the uh, var search count, which equal the value of my uh, data layer. So in fact, this part is exactly the one that you have over here. And then the next one is about uh, blah, 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 the pack push set custom URL, da, da, da. This one is as well uh, taking back, in fact, the variable, which is over here. And as I wanted to push a little bit more uh, the e experience, I added as well a custom dimension. And the idea of this custom dimension is to push within Matomo the number of results uh, of the page because I may be interested as well uh, to know uh, the pages or the keyword which resulted in several uh, numbers, let's say, or several um, entities. So, uh, I just validate this one. This one is fired only on the page about the search uh, results. And as a result, if I go on this given page, so you see this one like Luminum. Okay, if I just write Luminum, Luminum on this page, so this is a search page, so it's going to be executed. I'm getting one, two, three, uh, uh, I'm getting five results. Oh, that's nice. Five results. So it means now that if I go on dashboard, apps, Go over here, I look for the visit, visit logs. Yep, I go for the today's date. And as you can see, I'm getting Luminum. And if I over my mouse over it, uh, I'm getting the information search result equal five and search result count equal five. As you can see, it's as well pushing uh, the custom variable, which wasn't expected uh, for me. I think that's um, an added functions that uh, the Matomo team included when you are using this specific uh, feature of counting the number of results. So here, as you can see, the search term is tracked fine. So as it's tracked fine, you can find it out here within the site search. So you see Luminum and you see um, the uh, associated result. And here you get, in fact, the search uh, results, which did not end up in any, uh, in any results. And you are getting as well a um, custom dimension report, which is this one, uh, telling you, in fact, how many times over here. This means uh, zero. I don't know why they put um, a dash here, but not uh, a zero, but this is a zero. I get my five, and here I get my seven. And if you want to know, actually, what are the keywords which are concerned, you will see that's, the, that's this one. Or probably you need to create a custom uh, report in order to get it. Um, what is strange, as you can see, is that the custom variable report is not filled in with uh, data, which is weird. So I don't know if it's uh, an issue in terms of time. Uh, what you can do is that you can investigate within the database, such as what I'm doing here. So this is the interest of working with on-site uh, installations, that you can uh, get an access to the database. So here in my case, as you can see, I see that the custom dimension are filled with data. And I can see here that the custom variable number five, so it will be the number five which will be used, is in fact uh, incremented by uh, some values. So here I see the zero, zero. I can refresh my page. We get the five in all. Um, custom dimension five. So here you see custom variable should get the information five, but I have no idea why I'm not getting it 
uh, within this given uh, slot. So it's kind of it's kind of weird because I should get it as well. Uh, just why this why it's not uh, working? Maybe this function is not activated at all. I can just uh, look here. Custom variable. Okay, custom variable active. No, it's active and loading unused unused. Hmm. Okay, kind of funny because as you can see, it's pushing some data. I have no idea why it's not uh, recording, but um, it works anyway for the no results page. And as I show you, you can even uh, send the data as a, as a custom dimension. It will work as well. Okay, and that's it for the video of today. So hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.